welcome to Denton, Texas and OCC Schwinn Stingray Motorized Bike Headquarters. You are looking at some very beautiful custom made OCC Schwinn Stingray choppers and let me start by saying that every one of these bikes is brand new. Everyone has all brand new components from the engines, handlebars, hand grips, the bicycles themselves, it's all brand new so there's no rust, no corrosion. You can see just how clean these bikes are. And I built them. I've been building these bikes since for about 14, 15 years now. And every time I build a bike, I build it better. And I think that for all of you people out there who actually build these bikes, as you take a look at how it was done, you'll agree that it's very well built. Um, this one here is my favorite. It's very blingy. Captain America. Just a gorgeous bike. And they're all different in certain ways. Either the frame, like this one has a chrome frame. The other one, other red, white, and blue one has a red frame. And just little differences here and there. Different hand grips, different uh, mirrors, etc. And here are some of the ways in which I upgraded. Like you can see the, the brackets that I, I made for the tank. They're no longer just some strap and sloppily put on there. There's also uh, rubber underneath the base of the tank and rubber underneath the uh, uh, engine mount and rubber behind the chain guard, etc. to try to deal with the vibration issues that you have with these uh, uh, two-stroke uh, Chinese-made motors and try to minimize it. It doesn't get rid of it, but it, it does get rid of some of the noise, the sound, etc. And then brackets I made for like the uh, CDI, etc. And uh, these, these bikes are still being tweaked. I'm still uh, dealing with some things like uh, when I was uh, building them, the carburetors come with this uh, fuel nipple going straight up, which didn't work for my uh, method of build. And so I tweaked them to the side and unaware that I had created a vacuum leak there so I had to epoxy them in when I had problems with them continuing to run and so there's little things that I haven't completely finished doing to them like this one the seat post is going to get repainted it has some scratches and stuff and uh, that'll be all everything will be uh, in perfect condition when it goes out to the to the buyers uh, let me say that the, the engine is the YD100 and if you do your own uh, searches on eBay and other uh, sites, YouTube, you'll find lots of information about the YD100. It has uh, got a very good reputation not only for its performance but also for the ability to upgrade it, uh, to add horsepower to it and its endurance. So check out some of those videos. Before you buy, I just recently watched one that was between the, the YD100 and the ST80, which is another popular bike, and the YD100 um, was proved to be a much better engine. So now, bike speed is a lot dependent upon sprocket size, and I have the large sprocket size. That's another thing that I do. I do not use that uh, rubber kit that destroys your spokes and uh, I actually hard mount my sprockets to the axle, get them centered and then hard mount them on there with screws etc. And that's all put on with Loctite so they don't come loose. Another thing that's on these bikes is you have chain tensioners. If you've ever dealt with them and trying to put a chain back on and get it correct, it's very difficult to do. Uh, so the chain tensioners are a major step ahead. And if I would say there's anything that I would upgrade on them when you get it into your possession is maybe get a front brake, which will require a uh, another uh, a caliper for um, to have a clutch and a brake on this side. 
And then these are all working headlamps and let me show you what will come on each one of the bikes because this bike is already set up and I've used it. This is a uh, Bluetooth operated uh, blinker setup and so you can see the uh, which way it shows you which which way it's flashing so you don't uh, have to hear a, uh, a clicking noise which you can't hear. These bikes are fairly loud. Loud pipe save lives. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> then your brake um, light right there but it's actually right there you can see it back there and it's very visible very very visible so it gives if you're riding at night you'll have a very easy to see rear uh, blinker etc <clears throat> and uh, then I heat wrap the pipes in that area just to kind of preserve it and if you have your foot on there and etc that's the hottest part of your pipe and uh, prevent uh, anyone from getting burned and this is a custom exhaust um, that has been made for the OCC Schwinn Stingray uh, bikes and that engine mount is the best out there I have had several and this is by far the best one it's so easy to to mount once you get it and another thing that is uh, uh, different about my bikes is I'll, I'll show you on this one <clears throat> Here's the uh, chain tensioner. You won't find the chain tensioner mounted on any other bikes that you see online in that place, but it is absolutely the best place to put them. Um, it pulls it pulls it tight. You got plenty of mo movement. Uh, if your chain stretches, uh, you'll be able to adjust it and get it tightened back up again, and it just works right there. It's not in your way. I've mounted it back here before and in this area, and there's just too much stuff going on with the brakes and stuff, so that that's a, a really uh, good place to to get your chain tensioner mounted <clears throat> so uh, let's see and then they all come with a little uh, Orange County chopper uh, bags which uh, I would put some basic tools in it there's certain Allen key wrenches there's two of them and uh, then a 14 millimeter and a 10 meter mil 10 millimeter and a 12 millimeter uh, wrench or it would be handy to have with you and also a 15 because a 15 will do the rear axle so you'll be uh, uh, ready to repair something if you have a breakdown or tighten something up which is a, a common issue with these uh, bikes because they vibrate quite a bit and that's one of the things that I tried to address I used a lot of Loctite put lock washers on everything and uh, made sure that uh, the bike is about as good as it's going to be and before any of these bikes go out they'll be gone over with a tooth and comb and make certain that everything is tight that they idle uh, fine and the brakes are properly adjusted and everything is good to go so all you got to do is put fuel in the tank and get her going so if you uh, have any interest in these bikes uh, contact me and I will uh, um, provide you with contact information, etc. And uh, there is a there is going to be a test drive video that you may want to see as well. I'm trying to get a GoPro because I have a handheld uh, video recorder, and that's not going to work very well. So, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed them. It was a lot of fun and a lot of work. And boy, are they ready for summer. Thank you for tuning in.